Thank you very much for joining me on this Sunday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. All eyes on the Caribbean on what's going on to the east of us. Now, there's a lot out there. I've been seeing it this morning and overnight while I've been putting together the forecast. A huge hurricane developing. Uh, I know some folks like to take the scariest model and say, hey, this is moving in. This channel is not for clicks. It is for safety. I do believe this is going to make a curve. It's just a matter of when. It is a couple things I'm seeing. It will be close to the Caribbean, but it could still curve before it gets into the Caribbean. I need about a day or two to really fine tune that. So here we are in the Caribbean. It's this area right here that will become a named system. It is going to strengthen, and this is a threat to the Caribbean as I was spelling out in yesterday's video. But I want to show you some new information. Plus, I want to bring into the Eastern Pacific where two named systems could threaten Mexico. We'll get to that in a second. Now, this little blob here, that's what's left of Sean. Here we are, Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Antigua, Barbuda, back through Puerto Rico. But it's this area in here, not organized right now. But this is what is going to continue to move toward the Caribbean and strengthen throughout the week. So you see all the models the next few days bringing this to the West. That's why it is a threat. That's why I really appreciate you sharing this channel and getting the word out about this system in case it does move in. Now, almost all the models show that curve and we've seen this. How many times have we seen this this season? Things make a run at us and then curve before such as uh, Hurricane Lee, for example. So we'll be watching out for that curve. But again, a later curve could bring it in. A sooner curve would keep the tropical storm or the hurricane conditions away. Yes, it's gonna be a close call. I'm gonna know in a day or two for you. Let me show you the setup. I don't just like to say, hey, this could be near. I wanna show you exactly what I'm seeing. So this is what's left of Sean. This is the area that we're watching for development. We have one front right through here. The fronts this time of year are everything with these systems, whether they will curve or whether they will move in. Now, let me go out in time and bring you into the upcoming week. The next few days, this is going to strengthen. Here's the setup, and this is going to really tell the story for us. Here's what we're going to be seeing. This will be developing into a tropical storm. This is by Tuesday night. So here we are in the Caribbean, okay? So this system developing to the north, we have one of those blockers, an area of high pressure. So that's here, that allows this to move to the west. Now, uh, as we look down the road, I'm looking what's, what's over here. We've got one front here that will try to grab this. The American model's actually saying this front is gonna make this curve sooner. I wanna show you that next. The next uh, group of uh, stuff I show you, that'll be that. Another blocker over here. So point being, it's gonna be blocker, an area where it could curve, another blocker, and then another front, another area where it will curve. Let me, let me just zoom out in time here. So again, this is from Tuesday night, and then moving forward, into the end of the week. And then let me stop the clock as we get into Friday. This is by the time we get into Friday. Here's the setup. We have this area right here that should be a tropical storm at this point. Okay, yes, it could still move directly in, but this blocker here does back off a little bit, okay? So that allows the curve to start. It's going to be a matter of kilometers, miles on how close this gets. Here's another front moving in, and this one will start to tug at this. It is going to start to make it move to the northeast. And again, there's a lot of what ifs, but that's normal with the weather, right? We're five, six, seven days out. There's going to be changes. Now, going out in time, this front really wraps up. This front will be a strong front. This next one, and this one will turn it. So eventually, this will become a hurricane. The European model has it curving very close to the Northeastern Caribbean and then lifting to the north as a hurricane, then getting close to Bermuda. Now, this is the front that will start to tug it to the north, uh, substantially make its curve. So what I'm watching for you next is this front how strong it will be and how quickly it moves in. If it moves in quicker, that's gonna, and if it's stronger, that's gonna give it a quicker curve and keep it away from us. That would be good news. If the front is slower or weaker, that would allow it to move into the Caribbean. Now, with that said, I know we, especially at the tail end of the wet season, we desperately need to get some rain in here. But on the flip side, of course, we don't need any sort of devastating hurricane. So it's always a give and take with weather, but that's a setup. Now, let me show you the American model. The American model is saying, hey, one of these early fronts is going to spin this away sooner, which again is plausible. I need a day or two to kind of read the environment a little bit better. So going out in time, this is Tuesday and you see this area here. 
it will become a tropical storm and then eventually it looks like it will become a hurricane and you see the fronts right through here this green shading through here and these fronts that come in sooner this is the bigger one back here but these fronts that come in a little bit quicker the american model saying hey i've got a little window to make a curve up here a bit sooner and that would be better news overall for the caribbean but you see it's also picking up on this big time front back to the west i do believe this is the front that will be the bigger player in this the European model seeing that as well. If this front slows, we're gonna see tropical storm or hurricane conditions move in. If it stays on track or speeds up a little bit more, that'll keep the worst weather away. That's how it stands. Now, let me get into how strong this could get. Well, this red shading, that's a lot of wind shear. Things don't strengthen with that area of uh, red here, but where this system is developing right here, there's not a lot of red around it. So point being, just simplifying things, conditions are conducive for gradual development. So by midweek, Tuesday and Wednesday, it should be a tropical storm. And you see that reflected on the computer models, this green shading, tropical storm conditions, this yellow shading, category one, this is category two in the orange, category three in the red. Going out in time, two days, uh, uh, or rather one day, two days, three days, four days out in time, almost all the models have this as at least a tropical storm in strengthening from there. Now, a lot of action going on, especially my friends in Central America watching some rain and storm spotty showers over toward uh, the Bahamas this morning. We've been seeing some heavy rain here, parts of El Salvador, Guatemala, and parts of Mexico, hit or miss shower, Colombia, Venezuela, over toward Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago. We have been, we have been just baking. We need to get some rain in here. There's not a ton in the forecast. Keep an eye on what's going on off to the east. I wanna show you in a minute, I wanna expand this out and show you a developing hurricane just one second now today jamaica for example haiti dominican republic parts of cuba if you get a storm it could be on the strong side today isolated flooding watching that keep me posted in jamaica tomorrow these fronts start to work in it's not really going to change our temperatures too much we don't get that big wind shift quite yet but belize honduras look at that action down through nicaragua costa rica panama we're going to see a higher chance of rain spotty showers and storms elsewhere and again all eyes off to the east on what we're seeing there. So we have two lists we go on. Atlantic Basin, so that's the Gulf, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Caribbean. The next name on the list is Tammy. So this area that we're tracking, if it does become a name system, Tammy is the next name on the list. The Eastern Pacific has a different set of names. Next name on the list is Norma, and that looks like it will develop. Even Otis, a potential of developing this week. You see one flare up here, another one back to the west, tons of moisture. Eastern Pacific, is getting more active. So my friends in Mexico, please share this information. We have another hurricane that is going to move in because you see this here, look at this develop. This is by Thursday and this here could develop as well. Two systems and then this one is going to work in southwest coast of Mexico once again by late in the week. We're gonna be talking about hurricane conditions moving in. This could impact some of the same areas that had Lydia. So tracking some of the showers and storms, Jamaica, as I mentioned, some storms could be strong today. A 40% chance, a 30% chance in the Cayman Islands, a 30% chance today, Trinidad and Tobago. It's gonna be hot. Rain chance picks up a little bit tomorrow, a better chance of a few showers and storms around. Grenada, 20 to 30% chance the next few days. Tomorrow, Barbados, some scattered showers and storms are possible, a 50% chance and a 40% chance to kick off the week Monday and Tuesday in St. Lucia. About a 30% chance of the next few days, St. Vincent in the Grenadines, and a 20% chance of the next two days in Guadeloupe. 30% chance tomorrow in Dominica, about a 30 to 40% chance on Tuesday, passing shower storm in Martinique. Rain chance is elevated in Puerto Rico. It's not all day stuff. But again, it's these afternoon storms the next few days. Even the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, we're going to see a few that will be around. A 50% chance in Bermuda. Bermuda, it's going to be a day of uh, really nice weather and then a day of storminess. And a day of nice weather, then a day of storminess as these fronts work in. I'll be focusing on that for you. Antigua, Barbuda, passing shower. A 40% chance, St. Kitts and Nevis. In Montserrat for today, a couple passing showers. In Guilla, rain chance still stays pretty limited. In a 20% chance, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. 
Belize, as I showed you, those scattered showers and storms, especially tomorrow, picking up Hopkins, Belize City, Ladyville. We'll be watching out for some showers and storms through Roatan as we get back through Honduras. That rain chance picking up. Same thing in the Yucatan of Mexico, and of course, watching the southwest coast of Mexico for hurricane conditions later this week. Bahamas, scattered showers and storms staying around as the fronts stay around. 20 to 30% chance in the Turks and Caicos. Some stronger storms possible in both Haiti and the Dominican Republic, mainly afternoon stuff, but we could see one or two overnight as well. A 40% chance in Cuba the next uh, few days and uh, a limited chance in Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire would be a passing shower, very small chance of some showers and storms. Costa Rica, the flood threat with us. I was focusing on Central America. We have a better chance of the uh, wet weather, 30 to 40% chance in Northern Venezuela. Isolated rain chance in Guyana, isolated rain chance to just generally dry conditions in Suriname. So watching the Eastern Pacific, but all eyes on this new system that will develop throughout the week. Thank you for sharing this channel information. It will approach the Caribbean, but two fronts, aren't, well, they're going to turn it. It's really just a matter of when. So either way, it's going to be a very close approach and I'll be fine tuning it as we go throughout the week ahead. Thank you for your trust and have a good day ahead.